Hello everyone, this is Robbie here. I um, hope you are doing great. Thanks for stopping by the workshop. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to uh, the channel, uh, I appreciate any support on that. Um, today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna um, create a video player with uh, a play and a pause button that might be useful for the project that we're creating. Cool, so let's just dive in and start. Uh, working on this project. All right, first thing that I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna um, create a prefab, I'm gonna create a squad. Um, I'm gonna resize it. Let me just first uh, choose the position uh, of that squad. Um, I'm gonna resize it. And this is gonna be the screen um, of my um, my video player. Okay, I'm gonna save it. My file. My unit has been crashing, but I really hope everything gets okay here. All right. Next, what I'm gonna do is I will create a click with the right button on here. I'm gonna um, create a render texture, and uh, let me just rename and uh, to player uh, video player. Video player, cool. So render texture, video player, uh, right here. And what I would do next is, I would just select my squad and I would drag this texture into uh, the squad. My unit has crashed and I think that things will be okay now. Let me just get back um, to my assets. All right, cool. So here I have my uh, squad. Let me just um, move it a little bit. I'm in a 3D scene. That's probably uh, let's move it like this in a 3D. That would be maybe more profitable for this tutorial. Have my squad. I'm gonna just uh, make it higher a little bit. A little bit bigger. Cool. So what I will do again, I will get this video player, the the texture that I created, which crashed my Unity, and I will drag it into the squad. Okay, I added there. So what happened is the material that the material that comes with the prefab, the texture blends in with the material. So if you um, if you see right here, the texture was added into um, into the uh, uh, the texture was added into the material. So it's blended in. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing the video through the texture, which will be playing side of this squad, this prefab here. Okay. All right. So that's our plan. All right, cool. So I have the squad, and uh, now what I'm gonna do is I will click a, and I have this again. I have the squad, and I have the texture into the squad. And what I will do next is I'm gonna create a video player. So click the right button here, a video player. So I have the video player, and what I will do, I will. I have two options here in a video player. I have a source. And I have a URL. You can add a URL here and play the video, or a video clip directly from your computer. So I already have a video clip here that I already added into Unity. So I'm just going to select the video clip, and I'm going to add it right here. And I'm going to get my target texture, the texture that I created, and I would drag it to here, okay, into my video player. The video texture. So if I play Unity right now, if I play my uh, my game right now, you're gonna see that my video is playing there. It doesn't have any button, okay? And it's playing through the texture again, right? Just really playing through the texture, okay? All right. So now we're gonna be creating uh, the buttons. So a few things to here. So the video is playing on our wake. When I play the app, the video plays automatically, okay? I don't need to have this checked. 
if I wanted the video to loop, I just check here, the video will keep looping and I will pause at any moment, okay? Um, you also can resize the video according to what you need it to resize. Uh, ideally, you want to scale the video based on um, on the specs of the video. Okay, so that's that's something that you you, you can look it up. Uh, but there's so much that you can do. But this is definitely a very basic tutorial on how to create a, a, a video player. Okay. All right. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a canvas. You're gonna go to UI and click on canvas. My canvas is a huge canvas, as you can see here. And what I would do, the first thing, I'm going to go to the canvas. I'll go to render mode, mode, road space. And I'm going to position this canvas to zero. So I have uh, right on the center. And I'm going to resize it, this canvas, to 10 and 10. So I can have it definitely a very small canvas. This canvas is here. I will. Um, Add my buttons into this canvas okay so let me just uh, let me just get my uh, quad and put up a little bit canvas I'm gonna just um, add the canvas like this cool and uh, what I will do next is um, I will also in this canvas here, I can add my camera here too, but it will not add just for the sake. If I need to add the camera here, I will uh, usually will add the center camera uh, if you're working with, um, with VR. So actually, let's just do this. I'm going to go to my rig center camera right there. Job done. Um, cool, let me just play my game, make sure that things are working fine after adding that center camera. There, yes, things are fine. Cool. Go back to my canvas. This is a way to create an event system automatically after creating the canvas. And uh, what I will do next is I'm going to add my buttons. I'm going to get click with the right button, UI, uh, UI button. So it's a huge button. I'm going to resize the button to 10. Actually, let's just resize the button to here. Right there. Drag the button into the canvas. Cool. So I have my button here first. I would change this button, the image source in, in source image. I'm gonna just type play here. You can create your own button if you want to. Just gonna click play. And I also will delete um, the text. I don't need the text because the button's already, um, it's kind of a play button already. So I don't need to, the word on. All right, so I have the play button there. And then what I will do next is I will, uh, I can even highlight this button a little bit to become a little bit nice. So what I will do is I will click on the plus sign and I will go ahead and drag my video player into here. Okay. Got my video player and drag into here. And on a function, I will go ahead on video player, I will click on play. Okay. I'm going to copy this button and you can type to and write play here. Rename this button play. I'm going to copy and paste the button and I rename pause. Okay. And that's a copy of the button. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this button here and change the source image to a pause button. It can be this one here. It's pretty fine. It's already there for me. And I'm going to also change the color to weather. Cool. And last what I will do is, as you can see, this is the pause button, which is on play, but I need to pause. So I'm going to click here, video player, and pause. Cool. So 
So here I have a play button. I have, let me just uh, change my uh, rig a little bit so you guys can see closer. Right there, cool. So I have the play button, pause button. So let's just play the, the, the application and see what's going on. All right, so it played already on the awake. The buttons are working. And when I click on pause, it just pause the video. When I click on play, it just play. Click on pause, pause, play and play. Cool. So that's how you create a video player in Unity. Excellent. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for stopping by. And I see you later. Peace out.